Hi guys, Anthony here, DOI Auto Tech. Um, we're going to be showing you how to uh, port match today. Um, basically, all the tools we're going to need is the cylinder head you're going to be using, and we're going to be showing you here on the exhaust ports because at the moment I do not have the intake gasket. So basically, all we're trying to do is uh, we're going to take our our exhaust gasket here, we're going to match it on our block, and when I bring the camera closer, you'll see that. Uh, the cylinder head and the gasket are not flush where the uh, where the ports are. And so all we're going to be doing is we're going to be grinding out these ports here so that they match the size of the gasket. Basically all we're trying to do is improve our volumetric efficiency because the, uh, the more amount of air we can get in and out of the engine at a given time will allow us to put in more fuel and get it out of there quicker, hence more horsepower. So uh, that's what we're going to be trying to do today. A um, couple of tools you're going to need. And this is a pretty pretty easy do do it yourself garage type job. You're going to need the uh, new gaskets or whatever gaskets you'll be using, so you can have something as a reference. You're going to need a uh, carbide bit. Uh, you're going to need a a grinder, obviously. Um, you can hook that up to uh, if you have a compressor. You're going to need a, a sharpie of some sort, something that you can uh, that you can paint on top of here. You need a little scribe or something that you can etch away with. And always have a nice pair of safety glasses. And I have some gloves as well. So we'll take you through the steps on how to port match and make your cylinder head just that much better. All right? All right, so what we have here is our exhaust gasket that we're gonna be putting over our exhaust ports. And when you put this over and you come in close, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about for uh, why we need to port match on cylinder heads. As you can see right here, we have a lot of material sticking out past the gasket, and that's going to reduce airflow a little bit. And since this is on the exhaust side, it's going to reduce airflow out, not in. So it's still something we need to take care of. Okay. So basically on each one of these ports where, there's, uh, where you can see the cast iron sticking out, we want to try and make that as flush with the gasket as possible. So what we do is we take the... Uh, we take the gasket off here, and we do is take some sort of sharpie or a paint pen, anything you can use, and we're going to just kind of paint around the outside of the cylinder head um, ports, and we're going to go all the way around on the head. Just we don't need to go too far. Just do this all the way around, and then once we're done with this, we'll put the gasket back on. I'll show you what to do next. All right, so all we've done here is we've taken our paint pen, sharpie, whatever you want to use. And we've gone around the exhaust ports on each one, just a little bit, you, need, you don't need to color too much. And uh, all we're going to do now, once that dries, is put our gasket on. And now you can really see all the spots in red once you center the gasket, where we're going to need to uh, grind away at. So you can tell on a couple of these, actually in every single one, we're going to need to do a little bit of work. Okay. So the next step here is to set up your guidelines for where you want to cut. So you can take anything sharp like a scribe here or something, I mean, trying to cut yourself. And all we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to center this, this gasket, okay? And we're going to etch along the edge of the gasket here, so if you want to come in close to, to see this. And all we're going to do is etch along the edge here so we can set up a parameter for where we want to, for where we want to actually cut. Okay. So then when we take our gasket off, you can see that's as far as we're going to want to cut, if you can see that line there through the video camera lens. And we're going to do that all the way around each port with the gasket. And you don't want to smash this into the gasket to try and get as much out as you can. You just want to center it and just kind of push it against the gasket and use the scribe to kind of go away at it. And you can see in some of these parts over here, it's a little tight, but we'll etch away anyways a little bit. And then we'll move over to the next one, and we'll do the same thing over here. And uh, with, with this kind of work, you definitely want to take your time. Don't rush this. This is a very important step because you want to you wanna match this correctly. You don't want these to be off. So we'll do it on all of these, and then uh, we'll take the gasket off Put our safety glasses on, hook our grinder up, make sure we have the right bit on there. And so far with the use of a dollar sharpie, a couple dollar scribe, and a 50 cent gasket, we've been able to set up the parameters for our porting here. So when you come in close, you're going to be able to see that we've now set up each one, 
and it's not it's not a night and day but you can definitely tell here you can see the outlines on the bottom on this one we need to cut out on the bottom of there on both corners and then over here we're going to need to cut out on this side but you can definitely tell that we're going to need to take a uh, little bit of material out so basically with the ports here when you come inside you're basically just going to want to come in here about a good half an inch you don't want to go more than an inch because we're not actually porting this whole area inside here we're not we're not actually porting the cylinder head we're just we're just port matching okay so we're going to take our grinder and we're only going to want to go in about a half inch and we're going to cut out around the edges here okay we want to do nice smooth cuts okay all right so basically what we have here is the carbide bit we're going to be using i like to use a flat flat type like this not a honeycomb because we're going to be grinding the ports flat we're going to be coming in and just straightening these out okay um, i personally don't like the long ones here but what I found to be useful is when you have a long one like this and you want to get kind of close in, you could wrap a rag around and you can hold it like this so you get a little more leverage. Get a little more leverage. I don't suggest doing this unless you've done this before. Once we get our safety glasses on, and we have our gun, we're going to set the speed a little lower than normal because we don't want to grind out too much material. And we're just going to get it hooked up to shop air. Or if you have an air compressor too, you can do that as well. So once we have the speed set pretty low, we can come in and make sure that all of our uh, matching looks okay. And then we'll start coming in here and we'll grind slowly at the ports. Taking nice even passes. I'm not sticking in one spot particularly. You want to want to go up and down. To make sure you're catching the whole way. And then just kind of clean it out from time to time. Check your work slowly. And uh, like for instance, you can see right here, it's going to be a very nice spot to cut out because look how uneven that is. So that's going to be a good spot to take out right there. As you can see, we're going to need to straighten this. So we'll spend a little more time on that side. But basically, this is what we're going to be doing the whole time. We're just going to be slowly working our way down here. We're going to check our work, and we're going to keep going until we match it perfectly. When you come in close, you can actually see how far in we've actually, like, look on this side right here on the right side. You can actually see, put more angle on it you can see how we've taken off material there and how there's no scribe marks left on the outside. There's no scribe markings left here. Okay, and basically all I'm doing now is I feel inside the port and just make sure there's not, no uh, huge nicks or anything that protrude out that would uh, stop the flow of air from being smooth in there. Now this one looks pretty much finished up on this one. So basically the next step we would do is we'd take our gasket, we'd put it back on, and we'd see if we see any red spots anymore. See if any of the red's still sticking out. We'll get to that later, but now we're gonna move on to the next yeah, ports here on the exhaust side, and we're gonna finish all these up. And as you can tell, there's still scribe marks on all of them, because we haven't touched these yet. And uh, we'll get to all those. Once we finish them up and get them pretty much dialed in, then we'll go ahead and get our gasket, stick it back on, and we'll do our finish up. All right, so we're finished up with this port here, and uh, if you can come in and zoom, we'll show you exactly what we have going on. Can you see that? So you can see that we've taken out a good amount of material. It's pretty much flush. Okay, you can come in there with like a, a single bit piece, and uh, you can clean it up a little bit more. But since it's the exhaust port, we don't really need to do that. All right. So basically, now what we're going to do is I accidentally took off some of the sharpie there, but we'll still be able to tell. We're going to put our gasket on just to make sure that the job is complete. And when we center the gasket, you see that we now have a perfectly flush port with no red sticking out. So this, uh, this port is all finished up, and we can move on to the next one. And then uh, after we finish all these up, we'll, uh, not in this video, but we'll go ahead and throw it on the airflow bench, and we'll show you how to use that, and uh, we'll see how much better she does. This has been another video from DIY Tech. We'll see you next time.